Welcome back. A Southwest Portland nonprofit is turning to art to illustrate the toll that gun violence is inflicting on America. It is called Soulbox. Cor Harlan is live this morning to tell us more about it. Hey, Cor. Morning, Elise. Uh, good morning, uh, Jenny. You know, uh, the Multnomah Arts Building up here in Multnomah Village has uh, seen these soul boxes uh, quite a little bit in the recent past. Uh, it's a project that was started in the wake of the Las Vegas Strip shooting massacre. That was back in October of 2017, founded by a woman in southwest Portland here who turned to art in an effort to illustrate the vast number of people who are impacted by gunfire. People can't comprehend this. I mean, our, our brains are not wired to understand that you know, 70,000 people a year are killed or injured by gunfire. Let's see if we got them all stuck on here. If words could not adequately convey the scope of the problem, Leslie Lee thought art might be a better way of showing the thousands of people killed and injured every year by gunfire. So she started Soul Box. From all over the country, people have made and sent Leslie almost 120,000 origami boxes, each box representing one life, one soul killed with gunfire. Some boxes with faces of those who've lost their lives. A disproportionate number of them are black and brown. So this fits into this awakening, this awareness that's going on right now. The boxes make up a growing exhibit that's taken the form of a procession through Salem. Installations of box exhibits in both Seattle and Portland and at the Multnomah Arts Center in Multnomah Village in southwest Portland. And one box with northwest Portland's Jacob Mesh's picture on it. Jacob took his own life just nine months ago and his parents put the box together to add their son's name to a long list of people who have died at the hand of a gun. It uh, goes beyond words. It, it, it was a moment I'll never forget. It was important. It was very powerful. And not only that, to recognize that I wasn't alone. For some reason, I was, had become very lonely in this, this place of, of yeah. grief. It was getting pretty dark. That's a pretty heartfelt uh, testament there from that uh, father who lost his son uh, nine months ago. Uh, thanks for him, for, uh, to him for taking part with us yesterday. The, the, the goal of this project, by the way, Elise and Jenny, is to collect about 200,000 of these soul boxes uh, for a large public installation on the National Mall. They wanted to do that next spring. Uh, that may be in limbo, maybe not because of the virus here, but they wanted to make this sort of reminiscent of the AIDS memorial quilt that really did a lot to raise awareness about AIDS a couple of decades ago. They hope to do the same thing uh, about gun violence with these soul boxes and it's a it's a small small start that has really blossomed out into a big big movement around the country frankly yeah, it and is art, an issue that's affecting so many people yeah, and art just does a lot to be able to spark conversation but also emotions too so that was very yep. heartfelt thanks yep. core